The Philadelphia 76ers had an opportunity to close out the Heat last night, and once you saw Meek Mill ring the bell at the beginning of the game, <laughs> you knew that is exactly what was going to happen. There is Meek right there. Jalen Rose, with Embiid back, with Simmons cooking, and with Meek Mill courtside, do you think the Sixers are poised for a deep playoff run? They are poised for a deep playoff run. Once the brackets came out and the Boston Celtics were dealing with injuries to Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward, I felt that the Philadelphia 76ers had what it took to make it to the finals. Now that I see the Cleveland Cavaliers struggle to get anybody not named LeBron James involved, they looking eye to eye. Now, am I going to be the guy that picks LeBron to lose to Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid? I'm not going to do that. However, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. But the great thing I love about the playoffs is the progress of it. You remember the difference between games one and two when the Philadelphia 76ers played the Heat. Yep. How dramatically those games were different and the outcomes were as such. So teams change as the playoffs progress, but Philadelphia today, for whatever it's worth, and you don't get crowned, look like the best team in the conference. They did. They absolutely did. I think with their young core and their just like fun loving spirit and Joel Embiid's Twitter feed, they're kind of a likable team. And if you were on the fence about liking this team, Brett Brown after the game will change that for you. Congrats on your first career playoff victory. Playoff series victory, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They were just having so much fun before that Brett Brown had some emotional words for the team. Are you on board with the 76ers and Brett Brown at the helm? Congratulations to the Sixers and Brett Brown for advancing in the playoffs. I have to point out something in that video that I want everybody to pay attention to. And this is the person that I hate in a scrum. Okay. The person that came in late and pushed him with two hands. Why is that? Like, that part is unnecessary. What? That, Why is that? That's a guy that's mad about his minutes. <laughs> I guarantee you, if we really found out who that was. Play the video again. That's somebody that this. he gets on really <laughs> often. Play the video again. So you're telling me someone's Congrats taking. That's your first career playoff victory. Playoff series victory, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See that guy. That is. But that was somebody who's upset about their minutes. They use the celebration as an opportunity to let Brett Brown know how they feel. Jalen, that's why I love doing the show with you. Those astute observations. So, hey man, I'm trying to tell you. Think about this. I'm standing there. I'm wearing a suit. We just won a game. You see them pouring water and chocolate closed, milk so over me. I'm holding is. the bell <laughs> in my hand. I can barely see. And you're an athlete who works out every day for a living, okay, you're going to just come up and push me with two hands? I totally understand but where anyway, you're coming from. That this, sounds like something this, that both to, you and to, I would do. The, the, uh, no question about it. And so to get back to them, this is a great feat for them, and I'm glad they were able to enjoy it. Usually the great American philosopher David Jacoby once said people don't celebrate enough. Mm. And I see this happen in baseball really often where people celebrate after eat regular season games uh, out on the, full, uh, on the field. So we don't own a diamond. So we don't see this happen a lot in the NBA. And it was refreshing to watch. I say people don't celebrate a lot, but I also say another thing. You can be mean if you're funny. And Jalen Rose, let's watch this clip and tell me if this is funny enough to be mean. Uh, <laughs> we home, we home, we home, <laughs> my God, home. I say we home, no, me. <laughs> me got fat as He got fat. <laughs> he just got out of jail, and Kevin Hart is already making fun of his weight gain. Is that funny enough to be that mean? I want to say something with all due respect, but it's great for this program, and I got love for Meek, so I can get this joke off. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You would think that normally when you were locked up, you're not eating good. Yeah. But he was a celebrity on the inside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> owners of the Patriots coming to visit him, and the <laughs> Sixers, yeah, Joel yeah, Embiid, and Kevin Hart, yeah. all these celebrities coming to visit him. <laughs> he was eating stuff. lobster. <laughs>
He was like, <laughs> he was, it, was, it was like Goodfellas good in jail for Meek Mill. <laughs>